All right, thanks, Darren. Well, last hour, we talked with country music superstar Josh Turner about his new album release and what life is like on the road with his three kids and wife. You may not know it, but he's a Florence County native and joins us now to talk more about his new record. Good morning to you, Josh. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, buddy. Hey, Josh, the, your record, Josh Turner Live Across America, is out and can be found exclusively at Cracker Barrel Old Country Stores. What's your favorite part about making and putting out this new album? Um, well, my favorite part was the fact that, uh, you know, we got to record over the course of four months. Uh, we got to, you know, we, we had time to, to find those magical performances, those times where the, the band was playing great, I was singing great, we had no technical difficulties, the crowd was completely into it, um, you know, and, and so we kind of made notes along the way and really just kind of gathered uh, the best of what we do and so when you listen to this record you're really getting the best representation of what we do live and uh, that's, that's the thing that I'm most proud about is because uh, you know we had we had to do very very little editing on this record um, and so what you're hearing is uh, is real life out on the road. Yeah it's a phenomenal record listen to it last night and you know just about everyone I know loves to eat a Cracker Barrel and I want to know what your favorite meal is there myself I like that country fried steak yeah, that, that's that's a good one. Um, I, I try to lean more towards the healthy stuff like grilled chicken or hamburger steak, uh, but I'm, I'm with you. If, I ha if I'm having a weak moment, I, I go for the country fried steak. Uh, <laughs> all right, so speaking of food, you were recently on ABC's The Chew cooking up some Frogmore mm -hmm. stew. Is that kind of like Hannah's, yeah. South Carolina's version of a uh, low country boil? Yeah, pretty much. Um, and, uh, you know, Frogmore stew was what we always called it growing up, and then I kind of did some research as I, as I got older trying to figure out where the name Frogmore came from and then found out that it was uh, basically the, the name of a former town down in the Lowcountry, um, you know, on Frogmore Island. So, uh, you know, that, that's kind of where it originated, um, or at least that recipe did. And so, uh, you know, it's been in my family ever since. All right, so Josh, I got some fun facts on you. You use a GPS on your Blackberry to find restaurants. There's one thing also that you and I share, we just cannot stand it, when people stand behind us for this one reason, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're really bringing this up? <laughs> um, yeah, when I have to uh, go to the little artist room, um, I, I hate it when uh, somebody's standing behind me. I, I just can't do it. <laughs> Brother. Hey, what was life like growing up in the PD? And what are some of your favorite memories about growing up there? Um, well, I, I grew up in a small farming community called Hannah. Uh, it's in Florence County there, and, and, you know, that tobacco culture is what I grew up in and around. And, um, you know, I came from, you know, a long line of farmers. And uh, so I, I miss that farming culture. I miss that flat, sandy soil and, um, you know, the pine trees and uh, the black, black water. So, uh, you know, I, I try to get back there as, as often as I can. Hey, Josh, thanks for uh, spending some time with us this morning. We appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. And again, uh, people can find his album at the uh, Cracker Barrel Old Time Country Stores all across America. For a link to Josh Turner's Frogmore Stew Recipe, just head to your website, carolinalive.com.